Hello, this is Chris with USGalaxyS3.com. First of all, I'd like to say this is just a little hobby of mine. I spend a lot of time working on uh, one of my other forums. I'm also uh, still a reservist uh, in the Army and dedicate a lot of my time to that. That said, we're just doing a few tests right here. These devices are pretty much restored to stock. They are both rooted, but on the complete stock ROMs and only have a few items installed, just a few programs uh, each. No contacts or anything else like that synced up. Go back to the home screen right here so you can see that device. Alright, both of them have uh, Invisible Shield HDs installed, and let me mention what they are. This is an AT&T uh, HTC One X LTE, and this is a Samsung Galaxy S3. Both of them are uh, in airplane mode right now, so they don't get any notifications or anything like that. I guess the first test we're going to do is turning them off. I do realize that these tests aren't a perfect indicator of performance and you should realize that too. They're just a, a few tests that might help point at their performance. Okay, so that had a confirmation screen, so the Galaxy S3 started just a little bit later. And it looks like it might have finished just a little bit faster, turning the battery uh, recharge mode. Alright, now we're going to boot both of these devices up. The HTC One X does have fast boot enabled, so I think it will probably uh, reboot quicker, but I'm going to go ahead and power it back down and boot it up in non-fast boot mode in a second. So as you can see it had fast boot enabled and it did boot quicker because of that. Most likely. Let's see what it let's see how the performance is with fast boot not enabled. Settings power. We'll turn it off. This has an OtterBox Defender case on it, and this has an OtterBox Commuter case on it. These have the same uh, Google account on them. Alright, now let's do a little reboot test. does not have fast boot enabled. So it did restart quicker. I'm not quite sure if they behave the same way when you do an actual restart. Actually as you can see right here I can use the Galaxy S3 
immediately. For the next test, let's run Quadrant Advanced. Give it a few seconds for the system to stabilize. Both of these are set to full brightness. So if you guys want to help me out a lot, please give these videos a thumbs up and not a thumbs down and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like I said, I spent a lot of my time uh, working with the military, so I don't really have time uh, for this. Well, as much time for this as I'd like to have. I'd rather have it be my full-time job. So I'm really behind. You can see this is one of the things that people don't like about the One X, is that it has the menu at the bottom, which makes the screen smaller. Looking at the screens, it looks like the S3 has a little bit bluer uh, hue to it. Okay, so the 1X came with a total score of 4,566, and the S3 had a total score of 5,014, so S3 right there. CPU of 8452, 8237 here, so the 1X over here. Uh, memory. 7547, 7266 here, the 1X tops that. Uh, I.O., real low score compared to the S3, 3762 versus 6334. On 2D, 952, 1014 over here, so that wins there. And 3D, 2117, and 2221 here, so it won in that last category. Let's run it one more time. This time I'll skip to the end and show you guys the results. And this time I'm only going to read the totals. Total 4,591 over here and 4,751. So the S3 won again in total score. Next we're going to run Linpack. We're going to run it until we get two consistent results. Run multi-thread. 190.799 over here. 180.007 over here. 0.88 seconds. 0.94 seconds. So the 1X went a little bit faster. But that's an inconsistent result. So let's run it again. 184.134 right there, 194.316 here, 0.92 seconds, 0.87 seconds, so the S3 wins. One more time. 212.427 there, 0.79 seconds, and 174.784, 0.96 seconds, so the 1X wins there. And then two scores which are pretty close, uh, the times are both 0.89 seconds. Let's go back and do our last one, which will be Nina Mark II. I'll turn them this way for that. It looks to me that the S3 screen is a little bit brighter. Like I mentioned other like I mentioned earlier, they do have the same screen protectors on them, the Invisible Shield HD.
S3, 59.8 frames per second and 57 frames per second for the 1X. I'll switch them up just so you can see the screens and see if that changed any because of the way the lights are in this room. So if you guys have any questions or you'd like to see me do anything, install a certain ROM or anything at all, please leave a comment below and I'll try to address that. Uh, if you send me a message, I will try to respond that, to that also and I'll try to respond to actually all comments in general. One X finished with a score of 52.9 frames per second, and the S3 finished with a score of 59.9 frames per second. So it looked like the S3, in general, had better results on all of these benchmarks. Remember, stock ROMs, devices both rooted, pretty much same configuration. And it was only minutes ago that we reset them. Fifty two eight frames, fifty two point eight frames per second for the one X and 59.7 frames per second for the S3. So for more information about the Galaxy S3, all US versions, please visit my site at usgalaxyS3.com, like the videos, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.